So the next two lectures discuss the atmosphere. Okay, so we talk about the atmospheric circulation. And that's important to, to, to know if you want to understand the ocean circulation, the wind driven circulation of the ocean. You have to know about the atmospheric circulation. And also if you want to know about the distribution of precipitation and evaporation on Earth, you have to learn about the atmospheric circulation. Okay, so we talk about the general atmospheric circulation, subsidence and updraft, how clouds are formed or suppressed. We talk about vertical circulation cells in the atmosphere, the horizontal wind structure, so you learn about trade winds and westerlies. And monsoons, tropical cyclones, synoptic weather events are also, also included here. Then in the next lecture, I talk about air-sea interactions, the interactions between the atmosphere and the ocean. And I introduce you to the surface skin layer, and we talk about the surface mixed layer. Okay. Then we talk about wind stress. It's the frictional forcing of, of surface currents is comes from the wind stress. Okay, and I also introduce you to ve vectors. What is a vector? Okay. And then we talk about a changes of salinity. So what is salinity? How do you change salinity? And this evaporation minus precipitation. And we talk about changes in the heat content and it's associated with the net heat flux. So you learn all about it. And then we also discuss the gas transfer the gas exchange across the sea surface and this is linked to something that we call solubility okay so that's quite a bit of of content here all related to the oceans and the 